welcome to C3 Kids Church. We have an amazing message for you guys today. So I hope you're ready in the presence of God, have had amazing time in praise and worship. Now get ready to hear from the Word of God. Hey everyone, my name's Tash and I'm super excited to be sharing this week's message with you. I know the last couple of weeks we've been looking at the fight and last week we looked at the whole armor of God. Well today, I'm gonna to be looking at the very first piece of, um, of the armor. So why don't you guys go grab your Bible and we're gonna go find out what that is. Okay, if you've got your Bibles with you, whether you're at home or in, in kids church, go to open up your Bible. And we're gonna go all the way to the end Okay, to Ephesians. That's remember, we've been looking at Ephesians the last couple of weeks. Okay, so to the New Testament, we've got Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Oh, keep going, keep going. Skip through some Acts and Romans. Oh, where do we land? Okay, and then we finally get to Ephesians. Okay, so we're looking at Ephesians 6. I'm using my brand new Bible today. I'm very excited. It's all shiny and new. Okay, so in your Bibles, you might have a different version, so it might sound a little bit different to mine, but we're gonna be looking at Ephesians 6, verse 14 today. And it says, stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist. Okay, so the first piece of armor that we learn about is the belt of truth. A belt doesn't seem like it's very important, does it? Or does it? How about if you had a pair of pants and you had no buckle, no belt around it, would, it, would your pants fall down? Probably. So what's important about a belt anyway? Well, Paul used the picture of a soldier and his um, suit of armor to talk about these elements. So the belt on a Roman soldier's um, in their armor, it was really important and it was the first thing that they would put on. So it would go over the top of their big heavy chain mail. So when they put it on, it would help to take the pressure off and to support them so they weren't weighed down by this big chain mail. It would also um, hold all their armor together so that when they ran into battle, it wouldn't fall apart because the last thing you'd want is to be caught in the middle of a fight with just your undies, hey? <laughs> And the last thing it would do would it would be a place that you could store things. So especially your sword. So it would there'd be a place where your sword could be um, in positions. Because you wouldn't want to be running into battle and, oh, where's my sword gone? You need a place to keep your sword so that in battle you can pull it out ready to use. Okay, so what is truth? And where do we find it? Well, we certainly know that we can find the truth in God. God is the truth. He can't lie and we know that his word, the Bible, is full of all of his truth. The Bible isn't just a book of stories. It's not just a historical account of what happened. It is actually God's truth and his promises and his commands and his instructions to us so that we can live our daily lives. How cool is that? Wow. Okay, so what does truth actually look like? We know that God is truth and that the Bible is truth. But what does this actually look like in our lives? Well, I've got something to demonstrate. So it's a bit like this bucket. <laughs> Brought my trusty bucket with me. This bucket represents our hearts and our minds. So how do we actually fill our buckets? Ah, thank you. Well, right here, I've got a lot of things that we could put in our buckets. By reading the Bible, we can fill our bucket. By praying to God, we can fill our bucket. By worshiping God, we can also fill our bucket. God gives us lots of um, truths and things and promises in his Bible that fill up our bucket. But what else can we do? How about by saying something kind to someone or doing something nice for someone, that fills our bucket. By being respectful to people, that fills our bucket. These are all really good positive things. By giving someone a smile or helping someone out, that fills our bucket. There's lots and lots of ways we can fill our bucket. Filling right up. So when our bucket is full, how do you think that makes us feel? I think it makes us feel happy and strong and secure and confident in who we are. So when our buckets are full of God's truth, and whether that be 
as we've looked at the Bible or prayer or doing something nice or living out the way that God intends. All of these things fill our bucket. And when our buckets are full and overflowing, as you can see here, it means that we can fill up other people's buckets. We can speak truth and life and hope into other people's buckets and help them to feel confident and secure and know that God loves them too. But we have to be very careful because what if someone tries and steals something from our bucket? <gasps> Wait! Oh no! If someone says something mean to me, they're stealing something from my bucket. They're trying to empty it. What if someone is being a bully at school? Or if someone calls you a nickname? These things aren't very nice. And these things, these actions, are actually emptying our bucket. Our bucket is sad now because all of the things have been taken from him. And when our buckets are empty, we can feel sad and we can feel upset. We can feel angry. We can feel frustrated. We can feel insecure. We can feel afraid. All of these things when people take things out of our buckets and our buckets become empty. But don't worry because God has given us the tools to keep our buckets safe. So what do we need to put on our bucket? You guessed it. We need a lid. We put a lid on our bucket. It means that no one can steal stuff from our bucket. That we can protect what is inside. When we put a lid on our bucket, we are protecting our heart and our mind. So when people say unkind things or they say mean things to us, we can reject those lies because we know that they are not true. We don't have to allow them into our buckets. We don't have to allow them into our hearts and into our minds. If we listen to the truth that God has told us, we know that we are his children, that he loves us and that he has such great plans for us. So there's another verse in the Bible which talks about this. And it's in 1 Thessalonians, which comes a little bit after Ephesians. And it says, test all things and hold fast to what is good. So what does that actually mean? Well, that's what it's talking about with our lid. It means that we have to test things and we can choose what goes into our bucket. And we hold fast onto those things that are good and true. And as we've already spoken about, we know the truth comes from God. So we need to hold fast onto his truth in our lives. So this week, as you go out, remember the bucket. Remember to have a lid that you can put on your bucket so that you can test all the things that people are saying and doing. Test whether these are positive and kind things and test whether these are God's truth in your life. Okay, so let's pray. Dear Lord, I just thank you that you have given us your truth and your word. And I pray that this week, that everybody will know your truth this week and be listening to your truth and be putting your truth into their hearts and minds because you have given us love and hope and peace. And we thank you for that. Amen. And now it's time for our memory verse. Hi guys, are you ready for our memory verse today? Here it is. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Ephesians 6 verse 10. I'm gonna slow it down so you can do the actions after me. Here we go. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Ephesians 6 verse 10. Let's speed it up now and see if you can do it with me. Ready? Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Ephesians 6 verse 10. How'd you go? So here is the whole armour of God. Shall we go through it together? We have got, ready? The belt of truth fastened tightly around our waist. We've got the chest plate of right living that guards our heart. We have shoes that have peace, God's peace, that helps us to stand firm even in difficult situations and helps us run to rescue others. We have got the shield of faith 
that helps protect us from lies that try and come in. We have a helmet, put your helmets on, of Jesus' rescue that tells us who we are because of who he is and what he did for us. And we have got the sword. You got your swords up? Which is the word of God. This isn't something that we hit people with. This is something that pierces through to the center of a situation and helps us to bring God right into the middle of it. That was an awesome message. Didn't you feel that just really spoke to your heart? And as you've heard God say something, make sure you tell someone about what he's spoken to you about and they'll help you walk it out today, tomorrow, as you go into your week. Have a great week and we'll see you again soon.